Game Set and Match, Ireland. Economist celebrates Brexit deal and warns of UK collapse. The Brexit deal between Britain and the EU is the best news for Ireland in 100 years, Irish economist David McWilliams has claimed. On Christmas Eve, Irish economist Mr. McWilliams tweeted, Tonight's Brexit deal is the best news for Ireland in 100 years, couldn't have worked out better for us. The Irish Times journalist added Brexit was game, set and match to Ireland. However, one of his Twitter followers reminded The Economist to tell that to our fishermen and hauliers. Currently, fishermen in County Donegal are preparing to sue the EU over the current Brexit deal. The Killybegs Fishermen's Organisation, KFO, announced the Brexit agreement showed how Irish fisheries stand to lose out dramatically. The KFO's chief executive, Sean O'Donoghue, said, In spite of a seismic effort to redress the imbalance of the proposed deal in recent days, not enough has changed and our highly developed mackerel fishery stands to lose out dramatically. But Mr. McWilliams, the author of 2005's The Pope's Children, argued on his blog Brexit was a golden opportunity for Ireland. He said when the UK leaves the EU, the Republic of Ireland will be the one common law, American-friendly, trading in Trepo with full access to the 500 million markets of the EU. He added, taken together, the vaccine, the low interest rates and the madness of King Boris provide a golden opportunity for Ireland. We must grasp it. The author also spoke on his influential podcast about how the current deal between the UK and the EU would result in Northern Ireland being absorbed by the Republic of Ireland and lead to Scottish independence. However, a Twitter follower of Mr. McWilliams attempted to dampen the economist's enthusiasm by predicting Scottish nationalism would be detrimental for the economy of the Republic of Ireland. They tweeted, The biggest threat to Ireland, Republic, from Brexit is Scottish independence. If Scotland votes to leave the UK and joins the EU, a lot of firms here will relocate there with access to the EU and land border with England. Scottish independence could send Ayr's economy back to the 1950s. Speaking about how Brexit will reawaken sovereignty issues in Northern Ireland, Professor Colin Harvey, from the School of Law at Queen's University Belfast said, Brexit transforms the unity conversation. This is now our way back to the EU, and that brings a radically new dimension to the discussion. Rather than run away from this, I think both governments should embrace it. It is a long overdue opportunity for a serious and informed conversation about how we share this island for the next 100 years.